Oh yeah, I get that nice hand walking yeah. shot. Oh gross. <laughs> What's up? My name's Timothy. What's up? And I'm a trophy husband. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the intro we were going with. <laughs> Who's able to support me financially? Cool. Well, I've often heard it, it now. Say. Yeah, I guess okay. so, yeah. All right. Cook. Now we're going to go ahead and preheat our pan uh, over medium-high heat. I like to set mine at 9 because I like it to get nice and crispy. I got the oil on deck. Always have a brew when you're cooking. It's the most important rule. And Cheers, yeah. First thing we're gonna do is I've patted these various chicken thighs and drumsticks dry with a paper towel. They were defrosting overnight. And now I'm gonna take some of my favorite seasoning blends. I'm just gonna sprinkle over all the action. Ooh, that's that good stuff. So now we got that, we're gonna make sure we keep a clean hand and a gross chicken hand. So we're gonna flip everything with our gross chicken hand. So go ahead and get all that in there. Oh, I should have rubbed this in first, sorry. Cooking on camera is weird. Rule number one with kitchen is make sure your space is organized so that you know where everything is at all times. Yeah, big as, facts. As you can tell, I'm really good at that. So again, we're just gonna make sure we pat everything in. You may have just heard it over there. We've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we'll be shifting the oven partway through. And if you've got a fancy dancy oven, like I'm lucky enough to have access to, uh, you can use a convect bake setting and basically what a convection oven does is it circulates the heat through the oven which helps everything cook a little bit more evenly or you could just uh take it <laughs> uh, we're gonna just squirt a bunch of it on in here the recipe that i referenced calls for about a half cup i'm just gonna try to coat the bottom of the pan as much as i can uh, and what this will do is it helps keep everything nice and moist doesn't dry your chicken out and it just helps get everything nice and sticky and tasty, which is, in my opinion, what you want. So hopefully my pan's hot enough. It's smoking a little bit. Don't want it super smoky, not like a cast iron type vibe. Mm -hmm. And then really important here, we're going to go ahead and put these skin side down. Look at that. Ooh. You want that skin to get nice and crispy. And then we're going to let this sit here and crisp up for like two to three minutes. So to clarify, we're not trying to cook the chicken right now. This no, is just no, to no, put no. a crisp on it. Yeah, right? no, we're okay. not we're not cooking here at all. This is just to kind of get a crispy texture. And if you look at it here, you can see this nice coloration we got. To be honest, I probably could have let it sit for another couple of seconds, but this uh, unnamed <laughs> spice blend that I use has sugar in it, which helps it crisp up and get that nice color that we got going here. But since it's sugar, it's also going to burn. So you're kind of on a timeline. Well, I've often heard it said that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Whoever coined that phrase must have never met a man with an empty wallet. No, I'd never need to worry about the lack of money that I'm making. If I can just find me a baby. My pan is smoky. Put it in the oven. Ba bam. That was really smart. I always put mine outside and then forget about it. So yeah. like, you've got this shit figured way more out than I do. Speaking of having things figured out, <laughs> shout out Kenji Lopez. If you ever want to oh get better Oh my God, at yeah, Kenji Lopez alt, dude. He's the man. <laughs> He's the one who will teach you that everything you've ever learned about cooking chicken to a certain temperature is a lie. It doesn't matter. It has to do with time, not heat. Theoretically, you could eat pink chicken, and as long as it had been at a certain temperature for long enough, you'd be totally fine. But no one will ever do that for us. So now we're just gonna, you know. <laughs> what was that? We're gonna what? Ah, okay. Oh, cool. right. Is that the the industry term? Yes. Goop 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 goop. That's goop, not goop, nice, goop goop nice. goop goop goop. No. I'm not wiping. I'm gooping. Right, what? No, you know, before. goop. Oh, yeah. The size. So now we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> hey, get over here. I'm cooking. So. Now, we cover this with tin foil. I don't really know why. My theory is that it like traps some steam and kind of steams the chicken a little bit, but I'm talking out my ass on that one. I don't know. You <laughs> sure honest about it? Yeah. <laughs> Get that in there. Give it a little, you know, just a little, and then. Tuck it in a little bit. Sweet now moves. we wait. All right, what just happened? Uh, the timer just went off. 
Um, and that means, what does that mean, Aaron? That means we're opening the oven right now! You can see there's like bubbles. We'll go ahead and take it out. Okay, so now what we do, we go ahead and we hit right here, we go, bam. Oh, no, we hit convict and we hit start. We hit cancel and then we hit convict and then we start and then we hit three, seven, five, hit start. And now we just increase the temperature from 350 to 375. That's going to crisp up our chicken a little bit. Careful not to burn yourself. Wow, look at that, it's delicious. Here we go, I got my goop brush. We're just gonna go ahead and take some of this sauce. We're gonna goop it. We're gonna goop it on here. Even more? Oh, I've come to terms with it. I ain't gonna pay the bills with my singing. So I'm gonna don an apron and I'll spend. So now we wait again. Uh, yep, so we're chicken's cooking. In the meantime, we're gonna go and throw it over to Carl. He's gonna prep our sides for tonight. Hi, I'm gonna prep our sides for tonight. We got some corn that you can cook corn in a bunch of different ways. Tonight we're gonna boil the corn because the grill is malfunctioning. I don't really wanna be that coward. I am a coward. <sighs> so hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> don't actually, oh my God. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we're gonna, I'm just gonna, I feel like, leave a comment below. Can you oh overcook corn? I don't, I don't, can you even like, like this video? What's up, Lake Flora gang? Like a big like below the like when you like it, and then you can leave a comment below the like that you leave. I'm looking for that money kind of love. I'm the world's first country music trophy husband. Now watch me cut this watermelon and probably hurt myself in the process. All right, welcome to another episode of Carl Struggles with Fruit. You ready? You ready for the money shot? Ready? Ready? Right. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oop. I have oven mitts on now, and we're gonna take the chicken out of the oven. Look at that. Mm. Now we got that on there, look at that. Oh, chicken. It's my favorite protein for sure. Then we go from there. Hit a little with the garn garn, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna hit a little bit of sesame seed action. <laughs> Fun fact, okay, here's an actual like pro tip. Uh, if you're ever seasoning or using something like sesame seeds, whatever, um, in this case, I'm just going straight from the bottle, but you don't wanna apply it close by because you're just gonna get all these like really clustered bits of sesame seed. Do it from way high up. So it kind of rains down and look at that, we get a nice even coverage across everything. Sure you make a little bit of a mess, but it's all good. We're gonna go ahead over here to those green onions that I prepared just a little bit ago. Get them all chopped nice and easy. And the same deal, just gonna sprinkle those over, get a little garnish going. With that start to finish, it was probably about like 10, 15 minutes of actually active cooking time. Now we've got our dinner ready to go gonna be delicious so it looks like we did it earlier all right let's all give right a shot. so we've we've done this outro like three times now <laughs> we're eating the food this time it though. gets better every Here time yeah, Bonko. Well, uh, mm. Mm. that was really good oh you get a little bit of that green onion in there like <laughs> steaming he's been cooking with timothy carl's been chilling Robert it's Carl's Ben. You know who he is. Maybe this is the first time you know who I am. Welcome aboard. Uh, we rehearsed at my house, so that's kind of <laughs> fun. Anyway.